Welcome, mates. I am Bloodthirsty Lord by Income and Lordy, and today we are back talking about some more gaming news on Spider Man PS4. Buyers beware, there's a lot of issues and problems occurring right now about the game. Like a 2016 versus 2018 graphic downgrade within the game's integrity, and then also falter by post launch DLC issue where the fans are outraged how quick the DLC is coming out and there's a slight backlash occurrence right now with the game. We are going to talk about those topics in this video and also investigate the issues that are there and if those issues are in existence, will that affect the game at all? It should be one really fun discussion, but before we get into this video, make sure you smash that blind like button. We are aiming for 200 likes on this video. That would be greatly appreciated if you do achieve that goal and also, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the content on the daily. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. Mates, I am super passionate about this game and I put it like on my top five list for games I'm looking forward to and knowing that it's coming out in a couple of days I am super excited for it but at the same time you can be a bit skeptical when all these rumors and issues are appearing everywhere and even though those rumors might not be true it's a seed planted into your mind making you think that you have to second guess yourself if you want to actually purchase this game the rumors and issues of a 2016 versus 2018 downgrade in graphics and visuals did occur because of some of the trailers that insomnia games have been publishing all over social media and it seems like the way it looked like in 2016 was better than the way it looks like in 2017 or 2018. As you can see from the two pics on your screen right now, on the side on the left is the 2016 version, on the other side it is the 2017 or 2018 version of the game. And you see a lot more going on in the 2016 image than the 2017 or 2018 image on the right hand side. It seems like the wall texture isn't there, some of the actual suits in the game look different, the way Spider-Man looks is different followed by maybe a lighting issue and also the puddle that's in the 2018 image when Spider-Man does slam the ground from his jump his feet do get in contact with dry concrete on the floor and then also showcases like a water puddle effect when there's no water present except towards the right hand side of the image then there's some other scenes of him doing the backflip within the trailer from the 2016 to the 2018 edition whole bunch is different there's like a missing pipe some crows a lighting effect and the dark gritty effect that was in 2016 and the detailed version disappears with all the lighting effect in 2018 and then also his suit is different so many changes that just happen out of nowhere and also another image highlighting the suit in the darkness and in the light and showing how the detail has been like somewhat downgraded on the actual suit itself but also mates there seems to be some leaked footage of the spider-man peaceful game since gaming companies and certain content creators did receive early press copies of the game and also the embargo of that releases september 4th so they'll be no longer under nda so there'll be a lot of videos coming out of the game but during those stages and before September 4th, some of the gameplay has arisen onto Reddit and it highlights what the game actually is. What the official gameplay is for Spider-Man PS4 compared to all the 2016, 2017 and 2018 trailers for the game. And the game looks glorious. And also if you guys are trying to look for that gameplay, make sure you check Reddit because I'm pretty sure it's still there. But sadly I can't show it in this video because obviously leaked footage early super early i don't want to showcase that on the channel just in case i get in trouble followed up by insomni games replying to some tweets about these comparisons of 2016 versus 2018 in the downgrade situation the suit texture is still there you just can't see it due to the video compression quality and where it was pulled motion blur wise lighting has changed in the last two years for that scene followed up by also saying suffice to say it's just a detailed and rich as the original capture in 2016. The lighting is different though, as things move around, city changes, etc, etc. So slight issues that are affecting the general outcome of what the game can be, from the presentation of how the marketing team or the editor have put these trailers together. So the issues of a downgrade comparison between the trailers and such from 2016 to 2018 is no longer a coherent argument or something that you should be afraid of when purchasing this game. And now let's discuss the post-launch DLC issue and topic. Insomnia Games did confirm there'll be DLC coming very soon to the game in the City Never Sleeps DLC, which falls into three DLC chapters. The first DLC chapter coming six weeks after the game's release on October 23rd is Spider-Man The Heist, which I have a lot of information about that and we're going to talk about that as well in this video. The next chapter is Spider-Man Turf Wars, which comes out November 2018, and the last chapter is Spider-Man Silver Lining, which comes out December 2018. There's not much information about the last two chapters, but the first chapter we got a bit of information on that. Spider-Man The Heist chapter will revolve around the Black Cat 
character and also will contain new missions, a new faction, and three alternate skins. So the information that we know about the first chapter can be somewhat replicated in the other chapters as well, but obviously there'll be different skins, different missions, and different new factions and such. And the whole DLC chapters altogether cost around like 30 USD, which isn't too bad. And fans are always outraged by the idea of post-launch DLC being announced super early compared to the game's release, or when the game's not even released yet. Happened with other games like Sokalibur 6 as well, and it seems like it's happening here too. And the fans are already buying a full price game at $60, and then they have to also think about paying another 30 USD to get that DLC before they even get their hands on the original game. Also, receiving the DLC six weeks after the launch of the game seems to be a problem as well, which I don't understand. Usually you wanna play games and their DLC as quickly as possible in my opinion, so the hype is still there and pretty much you're able to live that life of that game instead of playing the game now and then waiting another six months until they release DLC because personally I feel like it would be really stale at some point and then you might not even come back to the game when the DLC drops. Overall with both those topics it just seems like it's been a bad marketing plan slash editor experience and also some bad options overall when it comes to the lead up of the game and how it's released but the game itself is beautiful and glorious so there isn't too much to be afraid of when purchasing this game which is a great aspect because you want to buy a game have fun with it and it looks like you'll be able to succeed with this option as one of the games to have fun with. But mates, as always, tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below about both those topics about Spider-Man PS4. And also, are you hyped for the game? I wanna know that in the comment section down below. So mates, did you enjoy this video? Show you support, smash that blind like button. We are aiming for 200 likes on this video. If you mates wanna see more gaming content on my channel, all you have to do is share with your friends and hit the subscribe button. We've got a mate today. And that is all this video. Oh, time to go, but don't you worry. Back very soon. Hey, dads, boys, you ain't seen nothing yet. Mates, the one thing I'm hoping for is some DLC to come out in the distant future that has Venom involved in it. Please make that happen. I want to play Venom in this Spider-Man game for sure, and I'll destroy everything in my path. Let's do it, boys. <laughs>